Hi guys, we're into the final week, and so I wanted to give you a brief preview of uh, that module that's coming, or is up now. So, there are three components to t this week's module, our final module of the class. Um, we have some last content. Technically, we need to cover chi-squared testing in ANOVA. Um, so you've got two knowledge checks, one on chi-squared, one on ANOVA. Um, these are set up very similar to knowledge check 14, where I give you some videos to watch, or I give you some resources, and then I ask you questions from StatCrunch. So pretty straightforward um, to do. There is a course feedback, which links you out to an external Google form. That is my getting feedback for the course. And then you've got some project stuff. So I owe you a three more things. After limitations, there's going to be an exploring relationships form a bivariate. Uh, there's going to be a future work and a reflection. So there's three more pieces coming, um, but I sort of wanted to release them uh, in a little bit of a batch just so I had some time to revise some things in the bivariate one. So if you click on these, they'll tell you exactly what's going on. Um, first one, this was only worth five points. This is just a quick thing. Find an article that discusses a relationship you're looking at or something close. So if you can't find a relationship, if you Google blah, 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 whatever it is you're looking at, like age versus voting preferences, and you can't find a Pew Research, you know, survey or something else out there, uh, then you can find something slightly related. So feel free to Google away. It doesn't need to be a scientific peer-reviewed article. Um, it just needs to be something out there showing somebody else has looked into this relationship before and what they've found. Um, so when you do this part one, I'd appreciate maybe just more than the link, but the link and then like a brief synopsis. So here's what this article says. Um, and then based on that, hypothesize and your beliefs, hypothesize what you think the relationship will be between your two variables. So if you think one group will have performed higher than others, or will have a lower GPA than others, or whatever it might be, spend more time on social media, um, say that in this. Uh, the real reason for this is really when we're talking about the scientific method you should have a hypothesis before you begin and you should do some background research before you begin so here's me kind of forcing that issue before we begin even though we've already collected our data so within that you'll see i have posted a reply to each of the three different teams discussion boards um, you have all in your original post said what you were planning on researching um, with the exception of sometimes when I'm like Ooh, I, I changed something or I did something uh, most of the time those are pretty straightforward so it's, it's obvious what your two variables are um, if for some reason you have blanks like I, I deleted one of Jameson's responses uh, one of his questions it didn't make it into the survey or you just decided up or you had lots of different ideas, Melissa had posted a bunch of different options, um, or you just don't like what you originally posted, uh, you can go ahead and change. The only thing I ask is that whatever bivariate relationship you go to look at, uh, it is something that no one else is looking at. So if Kat is already looking at gender versus what party preference they have, you should not be choosing that same exact relationship. Now, you could go with are you registered Republican, that's a very similar but different um, uh, variable if you wanted to go with something like that. It's just don't use the same one that somebody else already has. That's my only ask for you guys. Um, so you've got that in the first of those, the background research. The second one that's in there, bloop, and I don't think I posted to the main area, so I'm going to have to get out of this test student. Uh, the data, clean it, data cleaning and univariate analysis. Um, this one is all about looking at three variables, the two that are in your relationship and then just one more to sort of clean up your data. Um, what you should be doing is posting a summary, which is either a display or a numeric, and I've given you how to display them or how to do numerics. You can do any one of those. Um, and then just if there's a note here, just you don't have to do it, but if there's something weird, if the data looks good, that's great. You can just say the data looks good. If there's something weird, I saw some particular groups, people were answering in ranges when I asked them how many. So they were saying four to five instead of just four. Uh, so talk about that and then figure out some way to fix that. If you need help, I'll be checking these so you don't have much, you're not like left out on your own in terms of figuring out how to handle some of the weirdness that's happening with your data sets. Um, another thing you might want to know, I'm thinking of uh, uh, Razul and his uh, um, 
his question, he left an open-ended major question. Actually, it wasn't open-ended, but he gave like 40 different majors. So he's going to need to collapse those down a little bit for any type of analysis to make sense. So maybe STEM, non-STEM, business, non-business, whatever makes sense. But he might want to first do a quick sort of that and then look at that. So that's one of the things that is going to also be uh, important as we move forward. So um, that's some stuff there about how to do that piece. And then the last thing I want to, oops, last thing I want to talk about, uh, and I gave you a link, and in each of those replies I told you who was going to look at what variable. You can choose one more, and then I gave you the link to the data. Uh, the last thing I want to mention in this module, uh, <clears throat> the last section is the uh, optional final exam. Um, I will be looking at grades starting on Monday and Tuesday, probably Monday, and letting you guys know uh, by email what you need to do to earn the grade that you want. So some of you, it'll just be like, hey, just knock out the first couple pieces of the project and then you're done. Some people will be like, get 100% on the project and then you're done. Uh, and some of you, it'll be, you need 100 on the project and a blah on the final to move up to this letter grade. So I'll be sending out those emails um, by Tuesday at the latest. So that's really the last piece of information I wanted to get you guys. Um, but now you can start forward. You can move through and do these first couple of knowledge checks. You can knock off these first couple pieces of the project. And um, the rest of the project will be up shortly so that you can finish this up. The only thing we have going on next week is project in addition to these two knowledge checks. So we'll be able to hammer it home and get it done.